it's under heat, it'll just kick right back on. And the fact that they were so hot means that it thought it was very cold in there for some reason. Like, what happened? Oh, it was, it was fucking stupid. Yeah, I swear. It she nice had. <laughs> you guys have another thermostat, don't you? No. No, no yeah. you're on the same one? Yeah. Yeah, that was always the problem is because, like, in the wintertime, upstairs gets colder because the windows are older. Yeah. And it, it, you'd be freezing and they'd be, like, just comfortable on the main floor. Ooh, like, this one's like, different. Room up there. Owen's in the kitchen. Mm-hmm. Like, radiators? No, the windows. <sighs> oh, okay. Yeah. Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Owen. Bino <laughs> Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino, Katie, Alicia. We have a beer from Brothers Brewing Company in Guelph, Ontario. So every other fruited one was a Berliner Weiss. This one's a Berliner Goes. So if the Berliner Goes up, it would be, oh, well, a Berliner Weiss is like a sweet wheat, uh, sorry, a sour wheat beer. A Goza is a sour wheat beer with uh, sea salt added. Okay. The Berliner Weiss would usually be served with uh, with simple syrup, uh, Woodruff syrup or something. The Goza would just be served as itself, but it's never been called a Berliner Goza, it's just been a Goza. So, interesting, but this is a mango lime. Yeah, I'm not a lime fan, so I'm a little worried about this. And also 4% alcohol by volume. But you're right, the uh, the fingers are huge. Yeah, they're weird. That's, right? that's like my hand <laughs> on Katie's body. But like with bony, like bony fingers, it's like arthritis nipples, like they're... I don't know, they're not unusual. And I mean, I'm not saying I could draw a better f- hand. I can't. I can't fucking draw no. shit. I can draw a mean stick man. But, um... Oh, no, like spiky hair and everything. Right, my stick mans are pretty jacked up. <laughs> 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 neck doesn't connect to the head. The kid asked me once if I, I don't know, draw him a cat. I think it was a cat or something, and I drew it, and he looks at me and goes, What's that? <laughs> cat. <laughs> Thanks, kid. This is what they look like when they get older. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cat that got hit by a car or something. I don't know. <laughs> Born wrong. <laughs> yeah. This is something special. Okay, so you get the mango, you get the lime, and this one is much sa- more sour than the other four fruited versions we've had by them. Mm-hmm. It does smell good, though. It does. It does. Yeah. The, lime, the lime and the mango mixing together just makes this nice sweet and sour note that just smells very balanced. Cheers. Slanche, Prost, all that fun stuff. Tastes like it smells. It's not my favorite of the bunch, but it's not, it's not bad. No. It, with you, I would go, this is not my favorite of the bunch, but I think the cherry was my least favorite of the bunch. Ooh, right, right. Never. Cherry. <laughs> because there was the cherry, there was the uh, lemon. lemon, the tangerine, the blueberry, the peach, the yeah, elderberry. I don't think we had the tangerine. You're right, we didn't get the tangerine. The peach. Uh, they were sold out when I ordered it. Oh. So we had the peach, we had the elderberry, the blueberry, the cherry, uh, the lemon, and then this guy. So we've had six of them. And I would say this one's right in the middle. Yeah, that's not... But I mean, a lot of it is too. I'm not a lime fan. I don't like the taste of limes. And I get that on top of the lime because you get that like fresh citrus lime flavor. I get the sweet mango flavor. On top of all that, I do get the saltiness, which almost makes this taste kind of like a kind of like a Mexican lager type of thing. You have that almost almost fiesta like thought there, right? Like the lime and the salt. And all you need to do is put a shot of tequila. In. Do not put a shot of tequila in here. But <laughs> if you do record it. Yes. <laughs> lighter effervescent than most of them. No well, effervescence. Um, lighter body, easy drinking. Super well balanced. I just don't think the flavor is the best of them all. I, I think a little more mango in there to to add a little bit more sweetness up at the forefront. I would have been in love with this. I personally would give it an eight. Final thoughts and rating. I give it a six. Like I said, I'm not a lime fan, so having so it's it just makes it my least favorite. It, it's not bad, honestly. It's it's still a pretty good uh, beer, and if it was around, I'd probably drink it. But it's not what I would go to. It really seems like for you, it's it's either stouts or sours. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Final thoughts and rating. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, it's sour. I like it. Um, I, I like wine and I like mango, but I don't get a lot of mango, which I don't mind because it's got that sour. And quite frankly, sour tops anything for me in terms of beer. So, yeah, I'm going to yeah, no, see when we started when we asked her originally to do these with us when we first got there, she's like, I don't like beer. I'm not going to like any of them. Yeah, I did. And <laughs> now we found some she's like. Thank you, YouTube. Bye.